This year at the Tampa Super Show, all the talk and all the buzz has been about the Brinkley. The yes. Brinkley, the brand new Gotta Brinkley fifth Brinkley. wheel. <laughs> so we went and saw the Brinkley mm -hmm. and we figured, you know what? We can't just talk about just the Brinkley. No. We gotta compare it to something. So we're pairing it up. Alliance yes. versus Brinkley. Who did it better? That's exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> Stick around. We're gonna show you both of them and which one we would choose and why. One of the biggest things for us is uh, the three air conditioners. Yes. Which we didn't think that was a big deal. Till we got one. Yeah, our last RV air. only had two air conditioners. Yeah. And the Brinkley only has two air conditioners, but the Alliance has three air conditioners. Mm -hmm. And when you're in Texas or Florida in the summertime, you want three air. it's a big deal, man. Yeah. And, you know, Brinkley originally started with just having one air conditioner and prepped for Precious a second. Thing. So, but yeah. they went to a second. But sometimes two just still isn't Ex enough. Exactly. The Alliance has a drop frame in the Brinkley doesn't. And the only difference between that is you don't get as much storage. You see how the Brinkley, the storage sits up higher in a drop frame, it's dropped way down. So your storage really starts right where the entryway of the door is and goes all the way through. So you get a little bit more storage in the Alliance. These window shades, uh, we like the ones in the Alliance a little bit better just because the accordion ones, they get kind of messed up. Even though they're in a track in the Brinkley, we've even been over there and the amount of people that have been walking through there just the, just the use during the show, you can already start seeing crinkles in those accordion blinds. So we like the MCD shades. Um, then they black out. I don't know how, how blacked out the Brinkley gets, but it looked like they were a little bit transparent and they all had the one layer. Um, you can get the, the sunscreen shades in the Alliance. And we like these better than the accordion shades. One of my biggest gripes in comparison was in the Brinkley. They had two toned couches. I don't like that. This couch was gray and the love seat couches were brown, like a light brown. And with a gray and white color theme going throughout, I did not understand why we're to toning our furniture. Both the bathrooms are pretty good, pretty standard. They're both about the same size. Uh, I do still, I do like the, the decor better in the Alliance, better than the Brinkley. And we love the epoxy poured countertops. The epoxy poured countertops, especially with the black and white marble. So I would say pretty close matched on the, on the bathroom. The dinette in the Alliance is not fixed like it is in the Brinkley. You could turn this table, which we did in our Alliance. So you could turn it this way, then have the chairs facing this way. Whereas in the Brinkley, you got the bench seat on this side, and then you had the two chairs on the opposite side. And I didn't look too deeply, but it didn't look like the chairs in the Brinkley were foldable. And they were just kind of big and bulky. And if you wanted to go with something different, it would be a little difficult to find something. Whereas these chairs are pretty uh, universal for ease of use. There are hidden storage features in both rigs. So I'd say it's, it's pretty close on that. But I do like the uniqueness of Alliance. They have storage behind their fireplace and in the top of their dresser in the bedroom. So for us, that's great because we use behind our fireplace storage as our liquor cabinet. And I would want to keep that. We have little cushions in there to keep the bottles from rattling around and stuff. But uh, I don't know where that would be in the Brinkley. So thanks Alliance for providing the uh, liquor cabinet. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. Yeah, it really doesn't matter which RV you pick, Alliance or Brinkley, you're going to have to replace the mattress because the mattress that they put in these things are just not so the best. The RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding provides a bunch of great options for mattresses in a bunch of different mm -hmm. size, a bunch of different firmnesses. Yes. So there are all kinds of ones to choose from and they're all great. Mm -hmm. Provide a 120 night sleep trial so you can try it out and if you don't like it, you can figure out the one that you do like. They provide a 10 year warranty, which is crazy yes. for a mattress. 10 years is a long, long time. Free mm -hmm. shipping, and best of all, it's made right here in the USA. That's right. Yeah. Uh, we'll leave a link in the description. And if you want a new mattress for your new RV, whether it's an Alliance or a Brinkley, <laughs> so be sure to be, use our promo code WAGS and save 20%. One of the things that kind of threw me off was that in the Brinkley, yeah. they had the soft close cabinets, huh. but not the drawers. Yeah. That was a little weird. That is cutting corners right there. Yeah, I would figure like if you're going to put soft clothes in it, you put soft clothes in it throughout. Yeah. Because Alliance is cabinets and drawers, but for some reason, the Brinkley just thought it was yeah, more important for cabinets and not yeah. so much for drawers. You don't want you to slam your cabinets, but you can slam the drawers. They're both magnetic catches, so yeah. I'm not sure how much more it would have costed to put soft clothes in the drawers. Yeah. Just weird. It's one of the little touches, Alliance.
thought of more than Brinkley. Yeah. Well, the Brinkley has the new electronic dump valves versus Alliance's pull valves. I don't know that much about electric dump valves, but I know that an electric component has potential to have issues. And the last thing you want is to have a malfunction and that thing be open and you not be able to close it. Um, I, I have been told that there is like an emergency backup manual valve for the electric valves, but I just don't know enough about how it works. So I know that these work. So I always default and go with what I know. I do like that Brinkley has gone to a rivet system when they put their screws on because in our last RV and this one, these screws that most manufacturers put on do have a tendency to back out. Now what we've been doing is just putting a little bit of sealant over the top of that so they don't back out, which is a fix, but the rivet system would completely fix that. So Brinkley did do a good job on that. Both models have great back windows, wide, big, great views. One thing I do like about the Brinkley is their decal in the back goes through the window. So the window and the decal were both black, looks seamless and you could hardly tell there's a window there. I did kind of like that aspect, but otherwise back windows are the same. We do like the streamlined look of the windows in the Brinkley because those seamless windows, they just look really cool, but the functionality is the problem. Where the Alliance, they slide open. So, so you get that better uh, cross breeze when you, when you open up your windows on a, on a breezy day. Whereas the seamless windows just kind of open up like teeter. And you know, it's, you can't get that wind to go up in there to get that good cross breeze. And because Alliance has these drop frame windows, they come down a lot more. So you get a lot more light in the Alliance than you do in the Brinkley. The Brinkley had uh, surprisingly small windows. I was really surprised that they didn't go bigger on their windows to get that, that bigger living feel. The Alliance has six point landing gear for increased stability. The Brinkley only has a four point landing gear. Now, that doesn't seem like that big of a deal because you're like, it's not like the RV's gonna tip over, but I'm a heavy walker. You can ask Leslie. So when I walk, that rig, it shakes. So six point landing gear is gonna be way more stable. And especially when you get those high winds or those storms that come through, it might be the difference of whether you get a good night's sleep or not. The Brinkley is 96 inches wide. Industry standard. Yeah, that's pretty standard. So, I mean, it's not terrible, but the Alliance is 101 inches wide. Yes. Now, I know what you're saying to yourself. You're saying, self, is five inches really that important? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really is a big deal. In the RV world, it's a big deal. five inches is a that's big a deal. Lot. And I know another thing that you're probably thinking or wondering is, does that five inches extra make a difference? Does it make it more uncomfortable or awkward to drive and maneuver? And I say no, no. because the last RV that we had was 96 inches wide and the Alliance is 101 and I've barely noticed any difference mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. I'm still able to stay in my lane very well, easy to take corners. Yes. Um, so because it's only two and a half inches on each side, it doesn't feel like that big of a difference when you're hauling, but when you're living inside of it, it feels like way bigger. Makes a huge difference. Yeah. And the winner is... <laughs> duh. Alliance, duh. <laughs> But honestly, honestly, seriously, yeah. we're not just saying that because we are Alliance ambassadors. No, not at all. It, I was not that impressed. No, not, not. Not well, like everybody made it sound like I would be. That's the problem. The problem it is, it was, it was hyped up. The buzz, the buzz, the buzz. You got to see the Brinkley, got to yeah. see the Brinkley. It's like the buzz around movies and stuff. You got to no, see this movie, it's so awesome. It's, awesome. it's oh breaking records. It's yeah. All, yeah. And then you go see it like, eh, it was okay. You know, and that's kind of how I felt about the Brinkley. Yeah. It's okay. I mean, and some it, people, it's probably perfect for Yeah, it probably so. will be. But, you know, for us and for the features that we showed and talked about, we would definitely yeah. stick with Alliance. Yeah. Our must-haves and... Yeah. It just didn't fit. To me, it seemed like... it seemed, And I'm giving honest feedback. <laughs> to me, it seemed like this. They're, they're calling this a luxury fifth wheel. And we paired it against the, the Paradigm 310. I think it would be a more fair fight if we paired it against the Avenue. Because I feel like... The Brinkley is a mid-level coach. I don't think it's a luxury well, coach. Well, it had higher end finishes. They did it with the golds and the, you know, stuff yeah. like that. But, but I, just, I wasn't impressed. No. So, hey, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about the new Brinkley. Mm -hmm. And let us know what you would choose, Brinkley or Alliance. Yeah. Um, we didn't walk through anybody else, <laughs> but the, between those two, for sure, Yeah. Alliance. It wasn't even close. Hands down. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help vets out on the road, everything you need to know, 
right down in the description. Yep. Appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.